This is the area map. Use this screen to check current position, mission info, and any other information you may need. Yep, your mission info is basically what your goal, the what the goal, the level is. First, let's take a look at what our mission is. Go ahead and press the X button. This is our mission. Missions are basically, um, well, I guess they're sort of like our objective for the area. Like I just explained. It looks like this is a collection mission. Astute. We must collect three symbol fragments and make our way to the Beast Temple. Yay. The symbol fragments are in treasure chests found on the altars. The altars are protected by monsters, so the only options are to open the treasure without being seen. Or defeat the monsters first, then open the treasure. I was waiting for the or. These are the altar icons. I suggest we first head to each of these icons and open the treasure chests. Well, since we can't do anything else, I guess that's a good place to start. Now, this is the icon for the Beast Temple. God, I know how all of this is already. This is our final destination. Okay, now that we've confirmed what our mission is, let's be on our way. Wait up, Asta. You forgot one more thing. Yep, if I yep, I can leave the area with that one. Okay, this time let's really get going. Mm. If you're unsure where the Beast Temple or the altars are, just press the select button to check the map. I know what I'm doing. Well, this is the first area. We control Haseo, the adept rogue, who right now just uses daggers. But I'll be using daggers through a lot of the game. So I'm not all that heartbroken about using daggers. Nice! We found an altar already. Yep, it's right where it was on the map. Yep, you can actively perform uh, sneak attacks in this game. It's very different from Final Fantasy. Good! Now, press the X button for a surprise attack. I know what I'm doing! Begins, the battle area spreads out like this. Yep, that blue orb. The battle area is surrounded by the battle fence, so it's virtually impossible for anyone to escape. Unless you use an item. The only way to escape from a battle is with an item called a smoke screen. And there you go. Asta and I don't have one right now, so we'll have to fight it out. Oh no. Yep, battles handled in real time in this game. Basically, hey, you're not too bad. By mashing the X button. Not so difficult, huh? Not at all, really. Yeah, keep it up. I'll never use one of those attacks. That's it. Just continue fighting like that. I can block, too! Now, you'll notice that Asta and Dude were supposedly way better than me. Oh, they do, they, oh, they do fight. They've never fought for me in previous games. Nothing. Yay, that's our first encounter done! Three goblins. Uh, pathetically easy. Very subtle way of opening a chest. Just kick it. Yep, that's one of three fragments. We just need two more. And since one's right here... All right, we found another altar. God, would you just shut up? I'll teach you about using skills to attack. Yep, skills are a very crucial part of the game. 
So, I'll listen to this. The regular and combo attacks are just simply normal attacks. Skills enable you to do much more damage to your enemies. I'd imagine. Yeah. Okay, what you see here is the skill trigger menu. AKA the only way to use skills. Do you see the four panels? No, because your text is over it. You can press the button that corresponds to each panel to execute the different arts. Now try it out by using the arts. Gale Blade. Hmm, I don't know if I can. Alright, perfect. Yep, arts are a lot stronger than your, than, your, than, your, than your average attack. They're a lot better and they'll always be a lot better. The skill trigger is not just a shortcut. It can also be used to stop enemy attacks, or it can be used to interrupt one of your own. Yep, the universal Roman counter. Aren't you forgetting something important, EO-10? Mm hmm, what would that be, Asta? There is an even more important use for the skill trigger. Oh? Of course I haven't forgotten. You're talking about Rengeki, right? Random Japanese word, FTW. Now, basically what the Rengeki is, if, if I beat up an enemy enough to where they turn purple, I use the skill trigger and use my skill to perform a Rengeki. It deals more damage, and I get more experience points at the end for doing it. So they're good. <laughs> to use the skill trigger now. Look at that. And my morale went up. There you go. That's easy. Very well. Shall we let him play as he wishes? That's a good idea. All right, Haseo. It's all up to you now. Wait, you're just going to sit and do nothing? Oh. Yep, your allies can heal you in this game too. Now they'll act accordingly to their own AI, which I which I could set up if I wanted to, but Right right now they'll do well enough just healing me when I'm almost dead. The game is pretty easy when you start playing it. So that's it. 30 more experience points, look at that! And I got a health drink. Now, they used a health drink on me to heal me. Yay. One more fragment. I'm excited, aren't you guys? Yes, I know how to combat. I've beaten all three games of this series. Yep, I'm gonna I'm gonna abuse Rengeki whenever I can, as you're supposed to. Because it's impossibly useful. Oh, I'm gonna level up soon, too! Yay! Yay! Yeah! Awesome job! Alright, let's finish off by heading for the Beast Temple. Okay, now use the map to check your position, just like we taught you. I don't need to use the map. I promise you. I can find my way back to the statue. But, yep, the beast statue is where the, is, is where the items are held. 
like in the, like the, like in the original dot hacks, you got the the treasure chest at the end of the level. It's the same kind of thing here. You get to basically just uh, go get your one item for finishing the level. 